Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Yeah. Welcome to Drinking Bros Podcast. Newark edition. <laughs> <laughs> so the city the of The bleakest Christmas ever. Yeah. <laughs> the city of Newark reached out to us. They've been having some PR problems because this is a complete shithole. Yeah. 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 Uh, if, if, just, if, 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 just, if, if just being miserable imagine, was a city. Imagine how bad things have to be. <laughs> yeah, to bring these if four if scumbags. If was a city, Holy we're shit. in it. <laughs> 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 We'd like you to improve the reputation of our town, so we want you to get Milo and the Drinking Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our our city council, we did a review on all of our online uh, PR and realized we didn't have enough Anne Frank jokes and, yeah. and, and gay talk. Yeah, and it in, tur- in, <laughs> in newer. And it, tur- newer. We got, it turns out we got turned down by Camden. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Yeah, the next stop on the map is Hackensack. That's where we're heading yeah. next. I, yeah, and if you're at home... And you're Paramus. Thinking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're at home and you're thinking to yourself, are they saying New York? No, we were saying Newark, New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Newark, New Jersey. Yeah, I think Ra- I think Randy Quaid is the mayor of Newark. <laughs> yeah. You know right? when you fly to New York and you get off at the airport and you and you say, oh, fuck, I got the wrong one again. That's Newark. That's, yes. that's the one that's not LaGuardia when you mess up. Yeah. You know? Has that ever happened to you, by the way? Uh, Twice no. that's happened to me. Well, no, because I'm not a retard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm borderline retarded, I will have you know. Mildly is what they call it. You look it in the like biz. you put on some weight since I saw you last Ooh, time. Oh, ouch. Um, Jeez. Yes, he if, has. If you don't mind me saying, well, that, you probably that, do mind, which is why I said it. Um, <laughs> I'm, but, I'm, we're all bundled up here you, for the weather. Uh, oh, yeah. He's blaming it on the sweatshirt right now. Yeah. I was going to say, not the face and the chin. You know what they normally They normally say? They say, oh, I'm bulking. I'm bulking. That's what they say. Well, you're definitely. Bulkier. But bulking season. <laughs> bulking season for Listen, sure. Now for me, and I I, for, I didn't tell you this, so I recently went out to Wilmington and stayed with these guys. I got deathly sick from some fish. So yes. I ordered uh it's called Micho fish. You have to get it on the dark web, and it's fish from the ponds out in Chernobyl. Yeah. Yeah. And it made me sick as shit. Because it's like a delicacy. Well, a little bit of radiation is good for you. No, uh, a little bit of radiation is good for you. No. Like the sun, that's vitamin whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's vitamin D. It's, it's called Ortolan. Ortolan, yeah. It's any like the of that's most sinful. If it were yeah. truly a delicacy, you would be able to get it in Paris. This thing is just fuckery. This is <laughs> retarded fuckery. No, well, he eats, no, it's, it's like, he eats, it's all real. He eats it, food from the gas station quite a bit. Oh, I love food from the gas station. Yeah, do, you know fi- do you know what my favorite? Do you know my favorite? Do you know my favorite thing in the world? I knew they were going to say Wawa sandwiches. <laughs> no, those those microwave cheeseburgers on the train. Oh my god! Oh my you know god. how much I eat the riblets, mm, uh, rib sandwiches. I buy oh, all of them if they have them. Yeah. And those, those pasties in the in the in the in the in the, in the truck stop that you're supposed to heat up, but I don't because they're so good. Oh. This, oh, is, man, this is amazing. We got so when, when we were here in Philadelphia, they said no, no, no. The, the Uber no, driver no, said no, no. I'd like to talk a little more about your weight gain. Oh, about, about my weight gain. Uh, we're not done on this subject. Yet. <laughs> Fire away! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Fire away! Fire away on that. I haven't finished. So, so uh, is is it depression? No, it's not depression. Actually. Are you feeling sad? No, it's the holidays. My wife is an amazing cook. Actually, right. We had a huge chili cook. Does she eat her cooking? Yes, she does. That's a shame. <laughs> so she's she's getting a bit uh, poor sign as well, is she? No, she's great. She's she's in perfect condition. Right. Uh, I but love she's her. She's a feeder. Uh, yeah, yes. So but she, she's, she's good. She's uh, and and presumably just does she when she's passing you these giant trays of cheese and carbs? Does she also Correct. happen to mention? Um, that you haven't got around to to, to life insurance. Uh, no, that's no. The, that's the thing. If you've got a guy that's already got the life insurance, you want to start exactly. You want to start feeding this. Yeah. So I've got a I've got a huge life insurance feeder. policy. But yeah, you'll be dead be in a couple years. years. I could I could I like be that. dead in a couple She's years. A feeder, a breeder, and a feeder. She's breeder a feeder. and a feeder. Those are that's a double dice. Yeah, mm. yeah. No, so we've been going hard. We did a. I don't know if you know this. Dan and I are running for school board as well. Mm-hmm. And we had a. a do they is. get your endorsement? I don't know what that is. Really? Just say yes, and we'll move on. Well, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd vote for Dan, but you wouldn't vote for me. I'm the one with Correct. children. <laughs> I'm the one with actual children. Dan doesn't even have kids. He's running for the school. Board. I would yeah. trust him to make responsible decisions mm-hmm. uh, about things. 
I don't know about you. Oh, come you on. You can't even make good dis- decisions about your own diet. I mean, you know, uh, I, I think he's... I've uh, made I like great this decisions. episode. I yeah. like this episode. I'm not getting fat shamed today. You're not... I, I don't know why. I pick the person with the stable BMI. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're all over the place, so that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but we're, we're running for school board Why wasn't he town. here last time? He's the best one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we knew you loved Jared. We yeah. had to get him back oh. on the show. <laughs> no, he's the best one. Yeah. Uh, no, so we're running for school board. Um, that's what a real is thing. School board. Uh, school board for, of, of the, for of the, the schools. Town. Yeah. Like, like hiring and firing teachers? Teachers, bus drivers, Correct, the whole stuff. thing. Yeah. Do you not have enough to do in your life that you want to decide? We do, and that's to help that's, hire bus drivers. That's that's the problem. Is we have a lot to do, but uh, the district is fucked up. We always say, "Put your money where your mouth is and fucking run." So we've decided to run. We had a campaign chili cook off to start it off if with. You to put your money where your mouth is. Then that means that you pay for the candidate you want to win, who you will then control and not have to do the, the hard work so yourself. Correct. But you need a Jew. But we're, we don't, <laughs> you, 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 we're in the you're South. Missing, you're missing a Jew. <laughs> you're just, you're just, this, is, this is the problem with, 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 uh, with, with you Gentiles. You think you have to do all the work yourself, and, it, and you, one person doesn't scale. So Inefficiency. The, the problem is this. We live in the South, and it's like fucking bloodline down there. It's all Southern people who live on the last, the last name, and that's it. Uh, if I were to see the two of you wanting to get on the school board, I would think to myself, what is it that these two people want to be uh, in proximity, in, uh, you know, adjacent to children for? Well, you're and not I, and I, actually and adjacent wor- to and children. I'd, and I'd worry, well, I mean, influence over them. I mean, you or Drag Queen Story Hour, I'd probably pick the fags. Um, you know, just these people who are so desperate to get really? around children. It's always troubling to me. No, no, they, they're just yeah. They're yeah. The, the, the the school and board's Frank, for joking, shit drug shit taking, bits. shit lording podcasters. Do I, want <laughs> <laughs> Do I want them running my school? No. That's that's I'll actually going to be my I'll campaign ch- slogan. I'll choose Susie, who's a bit left wing, <laughs> <laughs> but at least she's not high on shrooms when she should be deciding on the new bus driver. I make great decisions on mushrooms. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, he'll have you know. He will have you okay, know. Okay, so what I was going to say that you stopped me earlier. Last month on Twitter, uh, a girl had posted a photo of her getting a tattoo. And right above, like, like right here, right above her panty line, it said HIV positive. Oof. And then I reposted it and said, this is my, this is my uh, Chinese puffer fish. Means. Wow! Like, you know, you know, it, in fine sushi restaurants, you can order Chinese puffer fish, and there's a chance it will kill you. Oh yes, if served yes, yes, wrong. Yes, yes, I'd go for it. Yeah. Well, there's a whole. Um, yeah, there's, there's two whole holes actually, sub- <laughs> <laughs> and either one of them can give you the well, HIV. Th- <laughs> Getting HIV from the mouth would be tough, I think. You'd have to have bleedy gl- gums. You would know. Well, she right? probably does. Well, if he's getting in there, she probably does. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, he's... All you've got to do is, uh, is, is, a, is a contusion to the top of the mouth, you know, and, and, mm-hmm. and, you're, you're, and you run the risk. Yeah. Um, there is, of course, a whole gay subculture called bug chasers of people who want to catch HIV. Is it really? because they want the HGH? Because um, you get HGH. No, I That's think, a thing. I think they want the attention and weight loss. I mean, I want it. All I want for Christmas is AIDS. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you should. You got to hook up with Mariah Carey and it's make this song. It's the only thing I want. <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> I don't want a lot for Christmas. I just want for the Christmas. HIV is AIDS. <laughs> Can we write this number and do a music video here in Newark? <laughs> got. Have there ever been music videos made in Newark, and could you imagine what they would be? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yes. there no, has. No, no, no. So there's a girl called um, um, Mariah Lynn, who I'm pretty sure has recorded music videos in Newark. She's a white, she's a wigger. She's a wigger, mm. if you know what that is. Uh, she's a wigger uh, rapper. Um, she's got songs like Money Gun, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, Do you know that Money one? Gun. Yeah. Do you know that one? Um, I can't remember what the lyrics are. And she's got, no, she's great. She's great, but she's a, she's a, White trash Jersey uh, rapstrel. Yeah, uh, naughty by nature's from from. Uh, I'm a fan of hers. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Mariah Lynn. I'm, devotee I'm looking her up fact. after this. Oh, because I'm a, I'm a big fan of Ashley Brinton. Right. Uh, You're also good, a big fan of girls that are white trash from and New Jersey. Creamy cash. <laughs> well, this is why we get on. You see, white trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have no problems with a, with a, a single wide. No, we're all white trash here. Yeah. Yeah. By Let's the way, Jared's 2020. He wants to to take I am a man the into white his mouth. Trashiest. What? I didn't yes. say in my mouth. Well, you, you can't have me. 
Why? But I can find because I'm married. But you can find I'll, I'll find you someone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find you an enormous Nubian prince, <laughs> some, some gigantic chocolate superstar. <laughs> Nut down your throat. Oh, I'll, get you, no, I'll, no, get, I'll get you no, someone. I I'll get someone that's especially thick and he's, gloopy. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's really <laughs> grossed out by cum. By the way, so the more you could do what you just well, did, that's why that's why you should better. swallow it. You'll never get to see it. Oh no! You won't have to look oh, at it. True. You it's won't true. have to look at it. He'll just, he'll just. No, that's yes. what, that's what my grandfather used to say. He'll nut down your throat. You won't ever have to see it. So this, the reason why this came about just is just like salty aubergine or something. It's not, oh, not a big God. deal. He wants to send us videos of him fucking a dude and coming, so that way we have to watch it over and over and over again to troll us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To just fuck this with is him. Quite a good troll, I, isn't it? Yeah. It's great, yeah. right? That's what I yeah. said. It's quite a good. Troll. It's a power like, I mean, move you, for that's sure. That's a story <laughs> that lives on for forty years. Hey, remember that guy? That dude? He fucked the dude just. To just to make his, his just yeah. to make his friends watch gay porn. Have you ever seen that, that video That's on, on you porn where it's like me fucking my my best friend in Best Buy? Don't worry, it's not gay. It's a prank. No, no, <laughs> but but that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. it's a good mm. one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a it's a good troll. It, I, I, I like thought that. it was a good troll. Like Thank you. That. So Thank he's you. been getting into swinging, right? Jared you, has. You have. Yes. Um, this has been going on for a while. He had a threesome at his parents' house recently, about yep. three weeks ago. It's only oh, cool, it's only like three cool if it's their bedroom. If it's just in no, their house, it, was, it's it wasn't weak. their bedroom. Weak. No, it, well, well, they were right next door, obviously. Uh, and then that was FaceTime Live to an entire party of people. Ooh. Yes, which we watched. And it was, that was a nice thing. You do that sort of thing, huh? I asked. You're an exhibitionist? No, not, not really, but it's just a fuck with him. <laughs> so his next thing yeah. is he wants to take a dude in 2020. Now, when you say take a dude, do you want to be the no, the no, yeah, yeah? You're saying it. it I, I, don't, I don't know. Well, what are we? What are we talking about right well, now? Would you like me to talk you through it? Yes, no. so you <laughs> that's exactly. Right so you can make a what decision. I want. You're right. Okay, I don't want this. So, have you ever have you ever had a, an especially pleasurable dump? Have you have you got that sort of? No, I'm asking because have you ever? Yeah. <laughs> have you have you had that sort of? You know, the big, hard, white, and in something about when it comes out, you're just like ah. Oh. Have you, have you felt I, that I feeling? Mean, I, occasionally, you know, on, okay. on a weekend so that, or something like you're that. You're being I, super I, cagey right I, now. I, Just answer yeah. the fucking question. It'll pop into my head that, oh, a dick in my ass would feel good. Well, no, I, I'm, we're getting <laughs> This has come up a lot with you recently. We're getting kidding. there. We're getting I'm there. kidding. Well. Uh, <laughs> so that, that feeling is a little nerve cluster up there. Yeah. You see, and that's what would be tickled by by I've the had a the, lot of girls that do by the tickling the, by the Nubian prince's wiener. Wiener, yeah, um, yeah, up there, which if, is what adults if, call that. If by I the way. <laughs> wiener, what? Wieners say. Well, I call, adults I say call wiener. them winkles. That sounds like something winkles. you may have winkles. learned. In my grandmother used to say, "You're going for a tinkle school. with your winkle," oh. and it's it's just sort of stuck. I've come dressed as my grandmother. I today, learned most of <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful shawl. It's like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Well, that's, there we go. Sure. Doodaloo. Oh, hello. <laughs> Rock, now, Ross, you learned most of what you know about dicks from your grandma as well, right? Correct. Yeah. She sat me down on her lap and just said, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about dicks in this life. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Uh, and that was my grandmother. R.I.P. Well, R.I.P. It, it, it's been a while, obviously. But, uh, so Milo, where are you right now? <laughs> what, what are you, what are, you, what are, you are you listening to something what is that oh sorry you want to just... In, into the mic probably <laughs> no our, our previous conversation like, what are you doing oh sorry <laughs> we, we've only just we've only just met you've only just expressed your 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 secret 2020 desire and you're shoving it in my face already yeah. <laughs> no i i am um, no i just because we have, have had a conversation previously I, I realized today that this would not require my full attention so i'm actually listening to a car maintenance manual mm. um <laughs> well <laughs> no no i've got a problem with my jeep um so i'm just trying to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Just, I, I, just, I realized that I could, you know, so I've got haze going on up here. Mm. I just realized. That I, just, I just realized I could. I could probably give you about twenty to thirty percent of my of my clock cycles, mm. and and be and be you know writing tomorrow's column and finding out what's wrong with my car in, in the background. Sure, sure. What's, Sorry, what's, it's probably rude. Yeah, no, it's fine. What's going on with that Jeep Wrangler? Um. Uh, I, I don't know. It's just making a bit of a weird noise, and I decided that I would do something really reckless, which is say, "Don't worry, darling, I'll take care of it." And he just looks at me and went, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and I said, in this outfit, "I'll take care of it." <laughs> so, <laughs> yourself, myself. Um, 
the, my, my one claim to masculine fame is that I built my own stables for my pony. Um, and that's not nothing. I mean, I had to like mix in, in, uh, and rite of passage. Uh, yeah, rite of building passage, your yeah. own stable for your own pony. <laughs> I mean, it was a pony. I had to mix and and pour concrete, uh, pour cement. Uh, I had to like build proper like a, a proper frame for it, and then the sides were corrugated uh, iron and all that shit. So um, no, it was it was a proper job. I mean, I you know, hung th- I, I hung um, the door and had to be just so so that you know equal whatever you know. So I, it's it what was, was actually the pony's name? A re- Mary Everybody Le- wants to Mary know. Legs. I'm sorry. Mary Legs. Mary well, if you've Legs. ever, you probably haven't read Black Beauty, the novel. No. Um, no. And so the, the the pony, the grey in Black Beauty, mm-hmm. is called Mary Legs. Mm-hmm. So she was when you, when a horse is white, you normally call them greys. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it was a it was a just slightly off white pony. Tell me what more about this, this color. pony. Is it a? Female? Yeah. Why did you um, want to get a pony? Well, the pony did, because I was five Sad. and homo. Oh. Um, yeah. mm. Well, my dad said you want a gun or a pony, and I said I want a pony, and my dad just went. <sighs> <laughs> I want a pony. No, I said, Daddy, I want a pony. Daddy, I want a pony. I've done motivational speaking for ponies before. You've seen it. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty, pretty sure. Have you ever you... met Eddie Izzard? Uh, oh no, you, you no. Fan? We have a where there's a the curse of Eddie Izzard. Oh. Every cause he takes up like fails spectacularly immediately afterwards. He should run really? for president for the Democratic Party, probably. Because that one's already failing, you can't fuck that up. <laughs> um, yeah, no, he's um, he's awful. Uh, but he's 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 sort of moved from a comedian into an active into this cross. Don't you love activist. that? Don't you love when old white male actors become jazz and and fucking like musicians, r- uh, rock musicians and shit? Musicians or activists is the two things I hate. Yeah, the most. it's like just shut the fuck. Jennifer up. Lawrence took what two years <laughs> off to study politics and and get involved in activism. When your yeah, not, do it? not by choice, but because she had three movies bomb in a row, realized her career was over. No, nobody wanted to see her as anything except Katniss Everdeen. Um, she fucked up her career by doing that first, mm. and then uh, and and now all she's got left is being a whiner. Yeah, well, the thing about the Hunger Games though is like you don't really know. I, like I, I didn't know how big that thing was going to be. Yeah, yeah, no, but yeah. you do know how big it's going to be because the studio decides how big it's going to be with how much they spend on marketing it, and they spent a fucking fortune. Well, I remember Twilight. Uh, Twilight, because uh, I auditioned for Twilight where I was supposed to. Um, and here, As what? Here, so here's the problem. Kristen Stewart's part, They didn't actually. have any fat werewolves. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I have my sweatshirt off. Oh, I am fucking huge. <laughs> the werewolves Jesus were all sexy Christ. and hot. And how the vampires could I skinny. possibly be? Um, <laughs> what fucking supernatural creature were you? <laughs> no, midnight, so- midnight. The moon comes out, and you turn into a blancmange. <laughs> <laughs> You went through the past episodes and found the weakness of like that's the one thing. Oh, um, I oh, sweetheart, I don't watch this show. Yes, you do. <laughs> no, I don't. No, so uh, um, in, in the case of Twilight, right? So <laughs> they were down to like the nth hour on that, and they owed the writer a shit ton of money, or they had to make the movie. It was super cheap, and they were just like, "Fuck it, just make the movie." Right, right, about right. About the vampires. Yeah. Well, I got the sides for it to go in and read. It was eight pages, but like one line. Mm. And you were just kind of standing in trees, brooding a lot, looking around. And I, but what were you, what were you auditioning for? Uh, it, it ended up going to uh, a guy named Kellen Lutz, who we just did this movie accepted oh, together. Thank fuck for that. Yeah, the he Kellen wasn't. Lutz got it. <laughs> thank yes. God. No, yeah, Kellen Lutz got a thank uh, two, God. Two diehards after that, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kellen's. Did the, he really? Is, is it? No, yeah, he's, he's, he's a good looking dude. That one line in Twilight made <laughs> Kellen. Yeah, exactly. He's a pretty boy. He's, he's he a, is. Oh, yeah. Great looking dude. Ma- um, imagine imagine so like the hot quote of that movie would have plummeted, you know, if they'd, if they'd <laughs> wow. made the wrong decision. Listen to you. I mean, you are just. It's a lot of hatred from you today, Milo. Hatred? <laughs> you haven't seen hatred yet. This is, this is flirting. <laughs> <laughs> I can do hatred. <laughs> Anyways, they cast that movie and Fowler. I'm saving it for Sugar Plum. Exactly. For, he's, the for one gets, he's the one that gets hatred. But it blew up and, you know, it became a sequel and a franchise and all that other bullshit. And, like, there sorry, is a lot of I'm things that they don't believe in. I'm sorry you missed out. No, I, I, I don't because I hated that movie. But the point oh, is see, this. It was, it's like, I don't even want it anyway. I'm glad they I'm, turned me down. I wasn't going to show you up. You can't find me. I quit. She's My a, girlfriend <laughs> goes to a different school. She's a lesbian. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> You wouldn't even know her. She lives in Frinton. <laughs> she lives in the Niagara Falls area. <laughs> She's in Hackensack. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, my girlfriend wouldn't hang out here. She's from Paramus. Let's, <laughs> let's, start a, let's start a company that does tours of New Jersey. 
<laughs> but really, we just murder you and throw you in the fucking river. <laughs> I'm willing to bet anybody who is prepared to sit on a bus for a tour of Jersey, you're probably not going to be missed. No. If you, no. If, you if you disappear, no one's going to miss you. A no. Depressed people. <laughs> Uh, it's going to become one of those things that people just pay to sit on and never get off. You know, like homeless people will just get yeah. on the on, on the on the the circle line in London, just stay on the train all day because yep. it's warmer. You know, it'll become one of those. Oh, perfect. We perfect. told Alec this is his first time to Newark. I was like, hey, if this is the last time you ever get to come here, it's probably going to be the best time. Well, of your life. I haven't agreed yet to the sex. Um, Ooh, we but, have a suite uh, here <laughs> at the Holiday we're Inn. In the suite. We, we should tell, hey, Milo, tell everybody why we're here. We were supposed to film at Trump Tower. Well, yes, yeah, so one of my friends and an uh, investor in one of my current projects um, uh, had a suite at the Trump that I invited you to record at, and then he got sick and flew home. So I said, oh, no problem, come to my house. Didn't realize that today there is a sea, an army of... of trash. Your house is trashed. No, they're not trash. They're my family. Um, <laughs> but, but, well... <laughs> there's an arm. <laughs> um, just everywhere, just 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 yelling and screaming and running around, and we have and the furniture's all coming today, and all the rest of us. So you know what? Even if I find a spot in the house, and it is a, you know it's a, it's a big house, but it's loud, and there's just yelling and yelling, yelling, yelling. Thing they don't tell you about black families, not only how expensive it is, but how noisy it is all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they never <laughs> shut up. You know, it, and it's, you know when you're not picking popcorn off the screen uh, in the living room, uh, you know, or or, or you just they just they never sleep. They never sleep. They never shut up, and they never stop wanting things. Well, why that's kids. That's why kids are easy? No, no. Why kids are easy? You give them an Xbox and a couple of hundred dollars, and you won't see them for a yeah, month. Yeah, but you have to pay closer. <laughs> att- no, you won't see them for a month. You have to pay closer attention because if they get ignored, they often walk into schools with trench coats on. We all know how that ends. No, no. If mine get ignored, they start suddenly, suddenly get. You see them on the news. They're like, you know, smuggling diamonds or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just, they just done over the the hack and sack jewelry emporium. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been married? <laughs> um, well, married. Um, just through the tax breaks. Uh, sure. T- two years. Th- have you not had the fan waiver for Christmas or Thanksgiving before? Uh, not at this scale. We've got 12 adults, me oh, wow. and 11 New Jersey residents, uh, and then all the kids. Holy shit. That's a lot That's, of fucking people. Yeah. It's too much for a white woman. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, love, I think I might go to my family next year. Have the house. I'm, I'm off. Yeah, no, it's a lot. It's a lot to handle. Because that's they, the when you're they looking come at t- early weeks, and leave right? late. I mean, you basically have them for December and January. Holy shit. Like, well, our house is so much nicer than any of theirs. So they'll invite themselves, <laughs> they invite themselves as early as possible and then just don't fucking leave. <laughs> Although I, I am trying to hold on to as many of the children as possible, and I do want to finish my sentence before I get quoted out of context, um, just because at the moment we've got me, we've got my dude, and we've got two kids, his son and, 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 and a cousin, another two children, and that's a reality show. Like yeah, me, yeah. Like, just call it <clears throat> Cracker Palace. Um, <laughs> and it, that'd be amazing. Just me trying to keep like five black teens in, under control. And it was, it was one like of, you one trying of, to explain the, the world to black teenagers yes, in New Jersey? Yes, yes. <laughs> How oh fucking funny God. would that be? And so they're all sitting there and they're all just sitting around. Like one of them is kind of like trying to not be noticed. He's smoking weed. The other one's, you know, like this is one of playing video games and can't be reached, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I say, so boys, compound interest is when, you know, then they're just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks, That's thanks. fucking hilarious. Uh, <sighs> so how are they as people though? Like great family? Oh, wonderful. Okay. Beautiful, happy. Um, no, they're, they're they're great. They're lovely. And what about your family? Do they come as well? Oh no. Are you close to them? My mother would. My, <laughs> my mother would just be so overwhelmed by it. No, not really. Um, no. What what happened? You mind me asking? No, I know. Have mind. you met? I don't this mind guy? anyone asking because if if I don't want to answer, I'll just make up something funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, uh, no, I just. I, when you're especially handsome and brilliant, witty, charismatic, charming, and and keep going, and, I like this. and modest, yeah. it's uh, all true. It, it is all true. Yeah. Uh, you realize actually that you sort of hopelessly outclass your parents, and it's this for, it's this constant war for your whole life not to hold the people who birthed you in contempt. So, and I have lost that war. Uh, so I just I just don't find them especially interesting to hang around, and uh, and then they weren't particularly good parents either. So I you know. I'll, I'll make sure they're never homeless, but I'm not going to, you know, waste lots of time flying them over and just putting myself through hell. Were they at England? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. 
Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Because so what we like to do is we like to bring it down as low as we can. Um. <laughs> and then we build it back up. <laughs> what was your happiest Christmas? <laughs> I can't remember now. What do you want <laughs> for Christmas from me? AIDS. I can't deliver that. You can. You've you got really time know. to contract I d- and okay, then I d- give I him just, AIDS. I just like the magic of friendship. Oh, look at that. No, you're he's the bottom dude. You got to shake really his sure what hand. To do with what are you that? doing? What was that? I mean, this is a fish. Oh, oh. It's a fish. Am I supposed to do this? Yeah. Wait, Sorry, a I wasn't. Fish. No, no. <laughs> I know this one. I know this one, but when somebody just does this, I'm like, what do I do? Are you like is that like a you gay handshake? I just just put it on top. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I feel on. hopelessly well, out of my depth. just had a fish moment. I'm going to I'm going to get you some of that uh mancha fish though. No, thank you. I think you should try. No, thank you. They say some radiation is good for you. No, yeah, the only, th- the only good thing to come D. out of Chernobyl is dead Russians. <laughs> 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 you know, it's actually quite low casualties. You know, these, yes, nuclear, these nuclear disasters are always very underwhelming. <laughs> yeah. No, no, they, they were great disappointments. I, mean, well, I tried to watch the Chernobyl series he, he on was, HBO and I got bored. It was yeah. great, actually. Hiroshima yeah. was pretty dope, like, though. A shocking 14 Jesus. people... <laughs> Well, well, we'll get to that. A, sh- <laughs> a shocking 14 people died in the first 48 hours after the meltdown. You're like, what? Yeah. What? I came here for what a body count, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, just, oh uh, at least 15 uh, uh, birth deformities have been, have been spotted as recently as 1976. Shut up! I know. When yeah. I started reading the, wiki, the, like, the mm, facts about it, very I like, oh. unins- But I, I think that it was blown out of proportion by Western leftists who were anti-nuclear power. As an excuse not to build, uh, well, not to build the happened. only actual clean energy source. Um, that's never happened before. <laughs> what? Breaking the habit of a lifetime. They decided to <laughs> they decided to wrench something out of context and misrepresent it for political gain. Not something we're accustomed to from the political left. I know, um, but it does seem to have been the case. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, any any chance that you'll take the entire black family to a movie over the holidays? Well, I have now begun to inherit... That was my popcorn on the screen joke earlier. I have now begun to inherit some of the habits and characteristics and indeed enjoy them, so I now yell at the screen during movies as well. Um, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was trying to tell you last time about multiculturalism. It's important for us to pick up everybody's bad habits. Yes. Mm, we're all, funny. We're all know, fucking scumbags. You know, to be honest with you, I think I could, have, I could have done without the 100-point drop in credit score, but... Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> At least I can run really quickly. Uh, no, I, 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 it, on, on the whole, it's been a, a successful experiment. Mm. Um, so on the whole, I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled with it. That's yeah. good. It sounds like you guys got a pretty good life. Well, I mean, I've, I've got been, that fat ring over there. Yeah, that's a fatty. Um, that's that's a that's a you know. You know. <laughs> if, if, if everything goes to shit, you can sell that and still be fine. Yeah. Yeah. For about a decade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a that's a DiCaprio diamond right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, a blood no, it's diamond. A, it's not small, let's be honest. <laughs> no. um, <laughs> that, that usually comes with like a Somalian hand, like a child hand around them. <laughs> Why do you think it didn't? <laughs> Did you see that? You know you know at Tiffany there's quite a significant premium for that service. Oh um, yeah. But but it is worth it. It is worth it to get the mummified hand of the child who wrenched it from the earth. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Did you see the ring? It's like a certificate of authenticity. <laughs> Cardi exactly, B, exactly. Cardi B recently got a ring from her rapper boyfriend, and it, it, they called it the Hope Diamond. Yeah. It's fucking massive. The Hope is Diamond is massive. like 80 She carats, didn't get the it? Hope Diamond. No, I know that they called it that because they, they That's cut how it big it is. It. Is yeah. it? It's like no, 35 no, carats or something. Yeah. The, Hope, the Hope Diamond wow. is like 80 yeah, Cardi carats, isn't it? That's but it. It, like, she put it on her hand, and the, the diamond itself is... That's so stupid. Ugh. It's so yeah, stupid yeah. Because, it's you can't, because you can't wear it. Yeah. Because every time she leaves the house, she, uh, so I, I know a little about this from... I've got 14 kilograms on my finger. It's Well, diamonds aren't very heavy, actually, so you've obviously never bought a decent engagement ring. But Well, it's been married Three times. Uh, so you've obviously never bought a decent engagement I ring. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> engagement ring from a pawn shop and bought a gun with oh, it. Oh no! Oh, did you? And the gun cost more, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Oh, oh God! Well, this is why you've been married three times. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Are you are starting to starting to spot the problem with this? Uh, <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Three perfectly successful marriages. Uh, no, I, <laughs> when was uh, a porn star? Uh, just yeah. by, wait, what? You married it? 
Yeah. <laughs> you married it, just get her a flat. <laughs> it's all she wants anyway. Just get her a flat, fuck her a few times a week, let her do whatever the hell, so, hell else she wants and have an actual wife. What is wrong with you? That's what, so that's what we say. Instructions unclear. Yeah. <laughs> not even close. We always say, hey, man, just fuck these girls and then move on with your life. But. Just because something ends doesn't mean it was unsuccessful, by the way. Yeah. Things end, Milo. The yeah. Holocaust. <laughs> no, this is a weird example. I'm just trying to. I'm trying people to. People lived. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to 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 join in the spirit of the show, which I understand has to have one of these jokes per episode. Yes, <laughs> yes. We are obligated to have one Holocaust yeah. joke no, and no, one no, Anne Frank joke. That's what I thought. I was just trying to. The room fell a bit flat and silent, and I was just like, "What? Well, isn't that what you do here?" Yeah, uh, that's sorry. exactly what we now do. Now I feel like the inappropriate one, which is, <laughs> well, maybe it remains true, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, I mean that is true, but but marriage uh, I think is one of those things that by definition is supposed to last forever till death do you part. Therefore, given that the conditions for success for marriage specifically include uh, uh, um, that it lasts, mm-hmm. then it does fail by definition if it ends. We does made it not, is that not so? We discussed your critical thinking skills in the last episode, and I see they haven't improved. No. Uh, so, <laughs> no, I just did a bunch more drugs since then, so it's, yes. what are you going to do? So, 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 so I've, I've been reading up, and I see that that was all wasted time uh, in, advan- <laughs> in advance of our next conversation. Yeah, but, um, uh, but marriage is made up. Who the hell made it up? Well, originally, of course, it's a holy sacrament. Uh, it, and, it, and, it predates uh, the that church. by it, a well, long time. Well, I've seen in the in the West at least, anyway. But yeah. I think many traditions have come up with this, as they have correctly intuited that the most useful and most uh, uh, and the healthiest unit uh, is the nuclear family. This is what all healthy, um, fast-growing civilizations uh, rely upon. You know, Russia and China right now, for instance, it's the nuclear family. It's mom, dad, and one t- one or more children. Um, civilizations that start to lose these things quickly fall and get into trouble. Now, they lose these things for a variety of reasons, and marriage is not the only whatever, but it's a really good bellwether of whether a society is healthy and growing and on the right track, or whether it is uh, sinking into decrepitude and, and, um, and degeneracy. And therefore, it's a good guide to whether the civilization is growing and healthy towards its climate max or if it's skidding towards its uh, its end like america at the moment and um so you think america's ending at the moment well it's inevitable it's inevitable it's, it's obviously past its best and i think that the only question is do you want to stick around to try to retard the decline or do you want to um no effects predicted this whole thing or do you want to? Yes, yes. Like yeah. yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Or do you want to? Or do you want to go somewhere that's that's growing, that has uh, you know sort of healthy vigor and energy and growth? So what about what you? Do you think we're at in two hundred years? Yeah. As well, a wor- as a world. Well, if you look historically speaking, uh, great civilizations don't they decline a little bit, and then when they end, they end very fast. And you think, oh, it couldn't happen to us. But it has happened very recently. And it's happened throughout the ancient world. I mean, when, when empires collapse, they collapse in a matter of months, right? It's happened to the Romans. Happened to, it happens to everybody. So when America collapses, it will happen very fast, very, very quickly. The country will split up. You know, you'll get California and those states up there. You'll get the, the Midwest and Appalachia. You'll get Yankeedom and you'll get the South. And these will all split into different, because they're fundamentally different countries anyway, these four different areas. Uh, they'll all split into different countries. Two of them will fail. Two of them will just about succeed. But America is, um, when it fails, it will fail very, very fast. And I don't think we're that far away from Texas it. Texas is safe. Uh, no, it's, it'll be, it'll, <laughs> by the time what we're talking about happens, um, Texas will be Mexican. Yeah. Or Californian. Mm. No, it'll be Mexican. Because you get a small number of liberals who come in and change the policy, so a large number of Mexicans can come over the border. So, the, the, I mean, you know, Arizona and, uh, and Texas will be Mexican by the time that w- what, we're hap- what we're talking about happens. Because right now in so both... So just, Mexico will just claim it at that point. Well, and in both right now, uh, they're the majority. So, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, you're not I that mean, far off, I guess. I don't know... I don't know if that's the case for Texas, but it certainly will be I think soon. It's, I think it's already. 52%. I think they just crossed, Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't surprise me. Uh, no, I mean, these, these, these states are basically gone. And um, I, don't think, I don't think the center of this country can hold for very much longer because it's, it's several nations trying desperately to hang together. And, uh, and I think ultimately it's, I mean, what's it's, the it's largest a, group of people? It's a failed people. project, really. What's the largest group of people that have been governed by a single governing body? Like what? Well, the British Empire. The British Empire, which would have had India, 
yeah. Canada, yeah. Um, you know, most of Europe, well, not mm. most of Europe, but some bits of Europe, British Empire for sure. I mean, this is hence the phrase, which is unique, I think, in uh, even the Roman Empire and even, you know, Genghis Khan, or, uh, uh, Alexander, uh, I, uh, the sun never sets in the British Empire, meaning right. you can always be somewhere in the world where the sun is shining and be under the rule of, of, the, of the British monarch, right? So, yeah, British Empire, by, by, I, think by, I think by a considerable margin, and all of those countries are now worse off for not being in the empire. Right. This is the great tragedy of World War I and World War II. I mean, you know, lots, yes, yes, fine, lots of dead people, sad, but the real tragedy for the world is the, is the loss of the British Empire because it's the, the stability and prosperity and order and you know christian freedom and property and all the rest of it that's how the world got nice is the british empire you know why the, why the japanese wear our suits although it wasn't part of the empire but they wanted to you know work with us why everyone speaks our language and everyone wears our clothes it's the british empire it's what makes the world a relatively nice place to live in most in most civilized areas is the british empire um this is the great horror and tragedy of the two european world wars that uh, it killed the british empire so let me ask you this if if it did collapse where would you go have you thought about that Budapest, really? Hungary, um, yeah, for sure. Because it's the it's 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 a proper nationalist Christian European country, um, beautiful and historic and gorgeous. Um, the voters are sane. The government is sane. Um, I could work there and I could be safe and happy there. Poland, I'm you know in an interracial gay relationship. Am I completely sure that I wouldn't get gay bashed on the streets of Poland? Not 100, percent but in Hungary, yes. Uh, Hungary is like the best country as far as I'm concerned. The only problem is it has no money. So um, you, you, ha- you know, we, we're living in reduced circumstances. But at that point, we're talking about existential crises. So who yeah. cares? I mean, but, Poland's kind of the same though, right? They still have a lot of migrant labor that goes over into Germany on a weekly basis to, to do stuff there because they have just their economic system is not very good. Yeah, I mean, Poland's not bad. Poland's a great place, yeah. and they, you know they do the anti-LGBT, which I support, and and all that kind of stuff. But it's a little bit Poland's a bit rougher. Mm. The, uh, Hungary is a bit more civilized, you know. I think people would appreciate in Hungary the fact that you know, well, he might be a, might be a raging this, that, and the other, but he's doing good work and all the rest of it. Whereas in Poland, I think you'd be more likely to get into trouble if you if you don't. Um, Poland legalized every drug in 1991, and they saw a, a systematic decrease in all use around all age groups. Really? Yes. What do you now? When you say every drug, are you talking about coke? They just decriminalized it. Everything. They don't. Right, but but what? But um, you'd have to know a lot of other things before. Yeah. Because the implication of your statement is is that um, if they did that here, everyone would be happier and drug use would go down. But you have no, to the, you have to know a lot of other things to know. Yeah, if it's like, a, if it, it, if it took if it's, twenty years for for, for it to yeah, stabilize. but that's not, that's not what he's talking about. He's talking about did they use the money they were using on enforcement for drug rehab and shit like that, or did they just like bank? Is that it? what you're saying? You know what I, mean? I don't know. I didn't. No, it's not. What like that would make sense. <laughs> they, you can. Make that point if you'd like to, but no. it wasn't the point he was making. No, I mean that's what. Would that's, you like to make that point? You're asking for more information. Are you about asking to uh, why we got to that point? Right? Like you can't just take one thing out and expect things are just going to. Well, be there okay. are lots of other so factors three about sentences, about a culture. and now I'm an expert, and this is I'm just making you guys do the. Work. Oh, you're an American. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're going to give uh, him a doctor <clears throat> degree. At, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting an honorary doctorate. No, at, you're not. Yes, Josh Hopkins. No, yes. you're not. Yes. 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 No, Josh you're Hopkins. not. Yes, I'm getting. The, uni- I'm the University of Hackensack, no, right? Josh yeah, just Hopkins. <laughs> Josh Hopkins. <laughs> John Hopkins. No, nope. Josh, this brother. They're yeah. opening up another school. Oh, I see. So you're having a little laugh, are you? John's John's the Hopkins, isn't Can it? Can I be your yes. doctor? Yeah. What? Can I be your doctor? <laughs> Why not? Why? If he just I, wants to I'm, poke around. I'm creative. I've already told him I'm not sure about the poking around, but I'm happy to give him an instructional tour. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll Skype you about it. I'm just not sure I want to do an in-person demo. <laughs> you can watch me and John and then practice at home. Can I eat corn nuts and mayonnaise? <laughs> Why are you asking me that? That's well, just that's that's his hobby. That's what he likes watch, to do. You know, or Captain Crunchy mayonnaise. That's good too. Or you can you can eat mayonnaise with anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's no food that is not improved by it. Exactly. Oh like no, that is not true. Disgusting. Mm-hmm. God, you two dirt bags. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna switch now. I was gonna he's, say he's, Dan and Milo. I'm gonna now say he's Jared and Milo together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's the best. Uh. He's the best. You see, I was fifty fifty about doing this again, and. and <laughs> And I still am, but um, <laughs> but if I and if I'd known him, I would have been slightly less ugh about it. Well, we came up with a good idea earlier for a clam-based lube. 
Yeah. Clam. Yeah. Clam. So clam. Yeah. I didn't think clams needed lube. That's no, the whole no, point. No, no, no. That's lube. That's the whole point of lube. Of so we're going to get 65,000 clams. We're going to put them in a wood chipper with a fine set of blades, which we got to call this would a wood chipper place and ask them if they have This would blades. stink. Not yeah. if you refrigerate it. If you but as soon as it gets on a person, it would I mean, it's going to smell like stink. clams, Milo. It's fucking clams, dude. I don't know what you no, expect. And when, well, why you would you want that? Aphrodisiac. Friction. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, a, it's a natural aphrodisiac. It all exfoliates the whole deal. Are we talking about vaginas? No, we're talking about actual sea clams. Well, then, I, I think this might be one of those conversations that doesn't really translate the next day to someone sober. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that possible? Maybe. 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 Jared's always had a, a strong fascination with clams. And, yeah. Uh, we try to let him go on his clam yeah, you eat, you eat canned clams a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dead serious. I don't know what this metaphor is. I don't know. No, there, no there, this is no metaphor. It's, this is his real life. When we like got here, clams. he Do ordered like a shrimp penne from downstairs in but Newark. They, they told me I couldn't get it. Here. Here, yes. I you ordered to... shrimp penne from the Holiday Inn. Yes. <laughs> in, at the Newark you Airport. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the Newark Airport Holiday Inn. And, and, and what, yeah, you thought, oh, God, I don't want to get sick again. So uh, what, 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 what I ordered? Shrimp penne. Yes. <laughs> shrimp penne. <laughs> fucking hell. So I everywhere would, we go, I, he gets seafood, no matter where. Doesn't matter where it is. See, I feel betrayed now because you previously told me that you liked the no, microwave, no, the microwave cheeseburgers and gas station. Yeah, well, they don't have shrimp penne at the fucking Wawa. If they did, he if, would get it. In fact, yeah, Wawa yeah, is sure. a bit fancy it for is. me. I mean, mm. you what, see the sandwich ordering machines? Oh God, with the touch screens, and yeah. it's like, do I want quesadillas? Yeah, quesadillas at a fucking gas station. Yeah, when no. did they switch that? By the way, that, that wasn't always like that. No, no, it's ridiculous. So I, I always ask. Um, uh, I always ask John to drive past the Wawa and merely find an Exxon um, so yeah. that I can get the food that I want. They got the tornadoes. <laughs> what are the tornadoes? <laughs> yeah, those are good. I, don't want, I don't want any food that isn't closely associated with diarrhea. Yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> well, you got to keep it clean well, it's down, down. It's there. important to stay, you know. You don't want to get backed up. To keep yeah. everything moving. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. It's important. Nature's own flush. For a man in your profession, that's what I get. of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, I keep my weight bit managed. <laughs> there was a guy who made a uh, food he, he, needs some, he needs a bit more uh, gas station food. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I have now taken off my sweatshirt. I mean, you can see how huge I am on camera. These lies aren't going to cut it on the audio show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you, you taking off clothes is not improving the situation. Oh, look we're at not, you. Well, we're not comparing you to just anyone. We're not comparing you to me. No, I, put, right I, put on, you, I put on 35 pounds recently. I'm in the worst shape of my life. Right when you walked in, we're you comparing asked you to past you. Oh, well. And, com- I mean, and, 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 and by past, I mean two months ago. That was end of summer, was, though. Right when you yeah. walked in, you said he looked like he got so you, you asked me, did he get stung by a bunch of bees? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, hey, did you oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? By a bunch of bees? For yeah. the anaphylactic shock. <laughs> 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 it's, 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 it's bulking season. No, no, it's just anaphylaxis. <laughs> <laughs> He got stung. You've he got, got that sort of... No, because he's red as well. He does look like one gigantic bee sting. <laughs> <laughs> Pink, swollen, and tender. <laughs> he is tender. You're like, if you touch him, it will be white for about two seconds before it goes back to pink, you know? Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good circulation. It's like after I microwaved my hand, it did that for like a month. Oh, <laughs> How right. could you microwave a hand? Uh, he put he put in a hot pocket. Yeah, you, cut just, the, uh, you cut a hole in the bottom. Yeah, cut the, the hole in the bottom. No, not in happened. the door. It's got to be in the bottom. Yeah. yeah, bottom. He put it up through. Yeah. That's hot. Yeah. Got, <laughs> what happened? His uh, hand it was just glowing. Made my for like, skin real weird for about a month. Yeah, his hand was glowing in the dark for like two weeks. Um, it wasn't glowing in the dark. A little bit. Uh, yeah. Radiation. I got tased in my spine while holding a microwave. Were you in somebody at the time? Because that's very expensive. You know, you can't get that done. But like in Amsterdam, they'll tase you while you're fucking somebody. Oh, really? No. Yeah, it wasn't really Is that real? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Is that something you, you got down on? <laughs> Can you please no, not No, I was tell the one doing the tasing. I would say this, though. It's, it's an easy summer job if you're at university. Just go to Amsterdam and tase people. You know? uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you were coming and somebody tased you, that would be an intense no, orgasm. If they tased well, I the think girl. that's the idea. I think they ha- I, I, honest, Truthfully, I can't remember who gets tased, the guy or the girl. But I know that it is supposed to be at the point of orgasm. And I suppose it's supposed to do something for someone. I'd give it that Maybe a go. Maybe because of all the shaking or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'd, I'd give that a go, I think, once. Uh, and, yeah, because the muscles, yeah. yeah. They freeze. I think, I think it's to the girl. I think you would come Oh, like a donkey out. punch. Like, yeah, like so, the back of the neck. Yeah, donkey punch. So you punch. just strap her down, tase her at the point, and she's like... Yeah. And you're like oh, yeah. Maybe, because if it was a dude, you'd come your nuts out. Like your whole... Your, both balls would come out of your dick hole. Right. Easily. So, so 
well, I suppose the the, 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 the Rolls Royce service would be they give you the taser so you can just oh yeah <laughs> you don't even have they to bring move. it over on a purple pillow <laughs> on a on a, a, on, a salver, gloves, yeah. on a salver on a salver sir. <laughs> It's a well-trained English butler. Your ARC five thousand. Uh, uh, before you go in, we call um, this we, the Arcanator. <laughs> we do have an upgrade available this evening. Where only some of our girls have been prepped to take it. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. It's yeah good. the girls have a have an implant on their back that is two metal metal plates for the taser. Oh boy! Jeez. And if and that if it's not doing it. it for you, you can chuck a bucket of water over her. For you. <laughs> really get it. <laughs> It's my favorite insult anybody ever gave me on the internet. And I, I, I actually, I was so impressed with it that I sent the guy a, a signed book and a, and a letter and he became a fan in later years. Um, someone just replied in all lowercase, go take a bath with a toaster. Um, and it wasn't particularly like brilliant or original at the time, but it was like my first ever hate online. You know, it was like right. my first one. I was, when I was just starting out as a journalist. Someone just replied, go, go take a bath with a toaster. And I was like... <laughs> yeah, right, right. That's pretty funny. That's I used to give my um, I used to give my all of my uh, trolls like marks out of ten. That's you know, funny. if you get yeah. like if you get nine out of ten, you get a phone call from me. I'll like record a oh, voicemail wow. for you or something. Yes. You know, ten out of ten, I'll send you a sign book or something like that. So you encourage people to be creatively so hidden. Troll you get a book? Um, no, you you have to just buy one. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'm just now kidding. your your book I'm crushed though, didn't it? I'm just kidding. Well, yeah, we sold a lot direct. Um, and uh, and we ma- we did it so so it sold about two hundred fifty thousand copies. But, That's amazing. But I made That's about really five shit. times what a normal author would have because we did the book ourselves, and because most of those copies didn't go through Amazon, we they were just direct. So it's all you know very very high profit margins. Yeah. That's amazing. That's great. They made about five million. <laughs> really. Hmm. <laughs> and what was the deal that, that with Simon and Schuster took well, away yeah, from you well, a million, yeah, right? Yes, it, yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was somewhere between three and four, actually, to be strictly accurate. But I, I, the 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 rest was like speaking stuff relates to it. But yeah, the book, the book, and associated activities made about five million. Did you read the audio book by yourself? Of course. Yes. Why would would you want an audio? Would you want an audio book of my book read by someone else? Uh, that's what I say. But a lot I would of people go with do. a redneck from like Alabama. I'm gonna get screech from Sydney. No. You Bell want like no 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 you want you want Louisiana you want you want um, you want no you want True Blood you know oh, yeah. <laughs> or Ed Orgeron from uh, LSU oh yeah no, 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 no. what is your I, since you're our you're a resident expert what is your take on the like six thousand genders well there are there's, three genders some people say two but there are three there's male there's female and there's retard. Um, <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> Retard is a category for anyone who believes they don't fall into one of the previous two categories. Yeah, I, I, I just don't understand it. I don't know why. It's just nonsense. Yeah. I don't, I don't nonsense. get that whole thing either, even if you're a... Uh, if you're a trans person, you want to be like the you, opposite of what you were. Yeah. Well, the trannies get into trouble sometimes because when they become women, they become very stylized... Uh, or at least they attempt to, they aspire to very classically feminine ideals of beauty. Mm. The way you know a real tranny versus one of those social justice trans trenders, you know, mm. the genderqueer people who are really just ugly attention seekers. Yeah. Um, uh, if, if just ugly and fat, you can dye your hair and call yourself trans and people have to be nice to you. But, um, but the real trannies want to become beautiful versions of the sex mm. they're transitioning yeah. to. Mm-hmm. Almost without exception. So when you see proper like transsexuals, like old style transsexuals, they want to be gorgeous women. So they Super get models. weight ten out here. They want boobs. Yeah. They want long hair, beautiful hair. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner is a good example of this. I mean, he um, look at that. Look at that Vanity Fair cover, right? He wants to look like a hot woman, like one of those you know vampish silk bloused um, Hollywood icons. That's the w- woman he wants to look like. He doesn't want to look like a you know like a, a walking Christmas pudding. He wants to look like <laughs> Like a, like a hot milk, right? <laughs> a Christmas pudding. There's it's a like, good chance. No, as he's explaining this, I'm seeing everything that he's saying. Like, yeah, I've got, like a, I've got a, I've got a very like, trans trenders. You know. Trans trenders. I've got a very vivid imagination. Uh, no, the, the, but the, oh, these... wait until I tell you about my new book I'm working on. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah. So that means you've got an old book. What no, was no, your no. Well, your I mean, I'm working book? on a few, and one of them is the. Heteros- so you haven't finished any of them. No. Do you finish any of your projects? No. None. <laughs> is there anything you've successfully completed? Do you have children? Yes, yes. Two, he's got three. And and, and how many of them are in jail? None. They're all, but they're all young. Fourteen they're, they're, and younger. Oh, and, yeah. and white. Uh, yes. D- um, uh, how old? Six and four. I'll be quite worried if they were in jail. Um, and and are you still married to them to their mom? No. 
But Ta- do, do you live Is the together? porn star hurt there, mom? No. Right. I'm, I'm just there. trying to get the lay of the land. No, there's, okay. there's some more, there's he, some more questions. This. So right. he lives so, in a house with her, the kids, and then eight other people. Oh, God, you're like one of those freaks that lives on a barge or in a commune. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, it's fine. We all share everything here. Grow up! <laughs> Grow up! <laughs> Buy a house, get a car. Do you, oh, you have a bicycle. I bet you've got a bicycle. No, no he owns a house. He just yeah. bought a, a You nice own house the there. house? Yes. Why do all these people live with you? What do you mean all these? No, there's a, he's, Eight. he's, no, there's one other. The contractor lives there. The person who built your house. That's couldn't you afford to pay him for the house? You just like, do you know? Do you know what? Just live upstairs. <laughs> that's that's exactly like one of those poor movies. You he know, you can't. His own room. One of those poor movies where you can't pay the mechanic, so you have to blow him. Um, that's, <laughs> oh, uh, no, just, yeah, no, you've got a whole world ahead of you. Um, <laughs> you say, you say, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm short on the last twenty thousand. Do you want to just live here? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. <laughs> Why would the person working on your house live in your He's house? My friend. Clearly not. If he's doing your house, why would you muddy friendships like that? That's because insane. He's, he's good at what he does. He's good at what he does. Yeah, no. So it's it's his ex wife. So what happens when kids. he messes up something in the house? He do just you fixes like? It. I mean, he's good at it. Okay, but if he like accidentally set like something in the kitchen or hurt, or accidentally hurt one of your kids, like ruin some ruin one of your clothes, borrowed something without asking, like housemate type stuff, right? W- w- how would you resolve that? Because he works for you and he's your friend. And he lives with you, which is stupid. This is a very comp. This is a- this, if I may say, is a recipe for disaster. You're asking for trouble. It's, it's actually it, the, the healthiest living yeah. environment you've ever been in. Shut I up. Say no, that. it isn't. Exactly. It is. Okay, so you've got. You, you, you're living- you have to understand my personality too a little bit more, because I kind of like whatever, you know. Yeah, kind whatever. of like whatever yeah, you know. You know is that right. supposed to help me understand your personality? Yeah, 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 the, yeah. the phrase "I kind of like whatever you know," and I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm supposed to know. I'm supposed to know you better after that, am I? I just, you know, there's an amazing. Flat. There was an amazing um, line. I think in a British reality show, there was some girl, and she's like, uh, "At the end of the day, yeah, when all said and done, right? It's dog eat dog. End of." <laughs> What does she mean? What is she saying? Um, okay, so t- tell me, tell me what it is about your personality that means that these dysfunctional living arrangements are actually appropriate. They would just work. Yeah, that didn't answer the question. I mean, I'm just chill. Okay, I so talk to me clothes. through. Talk to- Here, I can answer some of I'm the questions. Sure, yeah, I'll just go with the, the, fl- first, the first thing is he wants his. Kid- why are you helping him? Because he's an idiot and he can't fucking use words right. Yes, I know, which is why it's funny me asking him questions. Why funnier. are you disrupting? Our I'm going to give you. No, no, no I'm going to give you a little Be bit more. Be quiet. In- I'm going to give you a quiet. little bit more information so you can drill down. Who further. are these? Other- All right, fine. Who are the other people he lives with? Well, the the, the contract before he said so. His two kids. He want he want, he doesn't want to have to Less drive three. across town to see his own children. It's too much of a nuisance. Why wouldn't they be living with you? Because they are, they're, they're divorced. With the wife. His ex-wife lives with them. So the he contractor, is... Polly, a girl who's in the wait, Air Force. Wait, wait, wait. The girl you were with? No, wait. Your ex-wife lives in the house with your current wife. No, I don't have a current wife. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Your ex-wife. So you're just paying for a woman who you don't... Do you still have sex with her? No. Oh, I was starting to like you. (laughs) So basically, you've got a parasitic ex and a Mexican, both freeloading off you. (laughs) Both freeloading off you, just so you can not feel like the failure of a father you are. (laughs) Fucking hell. You have no idea how accurate that is. We don't even know Jared yet. (laughs) Oh, I... What, what do you mean? <laughs> After his eloquent description of himself <laughs> earlier, how could I not know? Well, you but know, like, I'm, I'm just chill. like, whatever, mate. I'm chill. You know what I mean? Go with the flow. I'm like flat. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like flat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I, I, we still haven't reached eight people. Who else is in no, the house? No, nobody. He was exaggerating. Who no, el- Polly lives there. Who's the girl Who's from the Air Polly? Force? Who's Polly? Who the he- fuck is Polly? He's Ma- a friend. Mariah? Mar- Maria? Oh, Maria. Maria. What, yeah, Mariah. Who's oh, Mariah? She doesn't live there. This is just Mariah lives with you? <laughs> <laughs> All I want for Christmas is AIDS. <laughs> We're going to record that song this week. <laughs> I want to get to the Not book. without me, you don't. We'll be in Austin. Hello? Oh, maybe. Yes, we we'll want to do this book. 
What book? The heterosexual you male's guide to homosexual You can't even raise your children. How can you possibly get through writing a book? We'll get there. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. How active are you in your child's life? In your children's I lives? Hang out with them every day. Yeah, I see working, them every day. It's not really parenting. On, on I mean, I mean, singing. I see the lamp next to my bed every day, but I'm not raising it. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you raise a lamp? Exactly. Well, not the point. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean you just put a different, a, a new book no, under the no, lamp no, no, every no, no, day no, no, until not your, not your best, not your best. Um, <laughs> not your best on the nose. It was a little. It was a little bit. It was a little on the nose. A little bit. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know she had it in her. <laughs> You're waking her up. Oh, yeah. it's, 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 it's late enough in the day. I've got to go in a minute. But I'm, I'm but welcome to the welcome to the rest of us. Um, so you, you've you, so so are these two mysterious extra people. So there's just another random drifter. Are you terrified of being alone? Is that what it is? You just yes. can't bear the thought of ever being in the house on your own at any point I ever. I, I don't need to be alone. But so that's a yes. It is, yeah. Oh, and it's, Jared, there's nothing wrong with that either. You know that, right? <sighs> well, until yeah. you suddenly discover you, you know, you, you're you're subsidizing half of fucking the state you live in. <laughs> where, where do you live? Texas. Mm, so it really is a Mexican upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cuban. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> They're not different. Only 56% of Cubans vote Republican. It's all a lie. The whole Republican-Cuban thing is bullshit because they all come over here with kids and the kids all vote Democrat. Don't believe it. Yeah. No, it's true. Mm-hmm. It's true. So there's... It's, I think it's, it's only eight. the parents who actually remember what it was like over there. The kids growing up here, of course, vote Democrat like everybody else who grows up under a welfare state. Yeah. But uh, with Jared, it's, it, it is eight. So there's Mariah. There's the contractor. So, so, Polly. And, and Mariah, it, 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 uh, she's in the Air Force? No. She's just a pilot. She's she a doesn't pilot. live there. She's a pilot. Yeah. A female pilot. Yeah. It's like a circus of horrors. <laughs> <laughs> you know, You're talking about here's, a reality show. Here's Where's the, mine? Here's the bearded lady. All these improbable and terrifying things from mythology. Here's mm-hmm. Bigfoot. Here's the bearded lady. Here's a female pilot. <laughs> <laughs> well, the contract is also a UFC fighter. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> There's layers of bit, complexity. Bit of, bit of wrestling going on late at night. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah. Got a, got, a, got a mud pit, have you? Butter up. Butter. Oh, yeah. Oh. A little mayonnaise, clam juice, a little, little butter. Mayonnaise. Yeah, get get the party stone. You ever dated a fighter? Oh, a bit of mud in the man clam. Yeah, do yeah. you, do you do, would you find Have it I dated hot to a watch fighter? somebody that like beat somebody else up in front of, of you? Of course. Yeah, that's a turn Of on. course, of course. Um Anthony Joshua. Oh yeah. Heavyweight champion of the world right now. Exquisite. Yeah. Exquisite. Mm-hmm. Very well spoken. Mm-hmm. Good looking dude. Mine's well, I don't care what comes out of his mouth, only what goes into it. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, but perf- per- per- male perfection. He's British, too. He is British. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Against all odds. Uh, is he gay? Probably. He's yeah, too, pre- I, too pretty. That's to what be, I said. Yeah, he's too pretty to be heterosexual. Yeah. Because people who are into like, fighting sports are uh, never that good looking. Def- yeah, he's, no, definitely one of those, he's definitely one of those alpha gays. Oh, yeah. Like me. <laughs> what has anybody ever I am an a alpha. fight? I am you? an alpha. Ga- yes. Yeah. Of course. Well, this is so. If you look in his, has anybody gotten clingy? <laughs> Have they? Uh, <laughs> I'm just wait, wondering if you face the I'm like, same. No, wait. I'm like flypaper for freaks. <laughs> no, they, they, told, once, they, once they're on, they don't let go. He told us a story last time. You banged this dude back in the day, and you went to his place, and he had a poster of you on the wall or some shit, right? Yeah, that, well, not just the once. <laughs> yeah, I, t- I told you about one time it happened. That's yeah. upsetting. Um, I mean, is it upsetting, or yeah. is it like, you, fuck you have yeah. posters? <laughs> I kind of want a poster. You can have a poster, but yeah, you've got like, the real thing. You have posters. You've got the you real idiot. thing. You yeah. can see me anytime. Yes, it's, yes you can. And, okay. and, and again, J- look, I'm, it saddens me that you won't be Jared's first because he is going to take a man in 2020. Well, here we go. Well, he, I'm, not, I'm not going to be his anything, but I, I'm happy to guide him through this journey. Well, he said before coming on the show, he goes, look, Milo would be the guy to do it. Like, no, I did Yeah, no, it, no I, it's okay. It's okay. It's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's you not, did. It's not going to make it weird between us <laughs> because you're right. I would because I'm like a man's man, but I'll take it, you know? So, and I can tell you if you're doing it right. And in the morning, not only will it not be awkward, I'll just be drinking beer and shooting the shit and teasing you like the previous day because unlike a woman, having sex with you won't affect my feelings for you. 
I won't think any more or less or really anything of you afterwards, just as I ho- hope that you wouldn't me. Um, so, so no, I would. I, I would, think you just convinced I, him to go gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this glimmer in his eyes. Like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you see him like sit forward yeah. slightly? You know, it's yeah. like, wait, that's what it is. Yep. No, it's just like wrestling, and you both get to come at the end, and there's no feelings. <laughs> yeah. What could, it's be, true. what could be more wonderful? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. It's well, great. Because Jared's dream is just to hang out with dudes, get oh, his yeah, dick dude. sucked, and then play video games and write music. You, you know he's a singer, right? Funny we'd met a year earlier. <laughs> 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 I still would have said no, but I would have been more tempted. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 2020 is the year of Jared. We're looking forward to it. It's not, it's yeah, not these gay. These two it's idiots just, are going to be on a school board. and I'm It's gonna not gay. It's dudes. just a bit of dick play with your bros. It's yeah. <laughs> just a little bit of with your bros, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like how you switched to like a New Jersey American for that. You know, switch, just with, with your bros, you know? Just, uh, with your bros. Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I like to tease him because he's the one with the raw, smoldering, furious sexual energy in the room. Um, and I don't really want to talk to him at all. I just want to get staked out, you know. Uh, anything, anything that he says is just a waste of good grunting time, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, why, that's why I like to tease him so much. And I don't do fatties. Um, <laughs> oh, but, God! <laughs> but you... But you, I think, are in the room are the only one. Well, aside from obviously, you know, uh, you, you're the only one in the room who are, I I could definitely see um, w- 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 with a with a successful bisexual future. Yes, there we go. <laughs> this is what we said all along. Thank you. After the first time, it's so much easier. <laughs> is it really? It's like murder. Yeah. Is that true? Did you start with it, girls? It is like murder, actually. Yeah. Now that you mention it, yeah. Did you start with girls? No. Well, no, I first started killing men. Uh, uh, yeah. and then, no, the no, girls came later. It is. No, when you, when you, you know, look, that first time when you just see the, the light leaving somebody's eyes, it stays with you. But, but two, <laughs> two, three, five, and ten, it's nothing. Yeah. Um, so, you, know, you know. You know. I mean, he's not, he's not as much of a man as I am, so he's had to do it through a scope, whereas I've done it with my bare hands. Um, <laughs> in, the, in the killing fields. Uh, <laughs> Just outside Raqqa. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you poor idiots have to get deployed and eat rations. I go there for a vacation. Just strangle the fuckers. You know, I don't know. Um, I, no, I can, I can see it. I can see it. Wait, what does that mean? Yeah. You, like, see you going... You bisexual. You, yes, yeah. bisexual. You've talked enough about it now where it's oh, like, it's going to happen eventually. On. But here's yeah. the real question, and here's something that he probably shouldn't be involved in. So if you don't mind, I'm going to ask you to just switch seats with me so we can talk about, about this for you. Because mm-hmm. we, we're here for you. We care about your future. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What we have to decide is um, on his behalf, because we're going to have to put this together. Yep. Top or bottom? Ah, so we have discussed this. I him. think he would be versatile, to be honest. I do too. He's a pretty. Isn't that sort of a cop out answer? Flat. You, what, you basically <laughs> he's flat. <laughs> <laughs> if, he's, if he's flat, that would imply that he's going to be the one getting, getting Maybe, yeah. smashed. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The only problem is I don't think he would let it happen. I think the first time. He'd tense up like he was being tased. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So I think he's got to be on top for the first time and then be open up after it. Like, so the normal procedure is be, and be opened up afterwards. Yeah. You make it sound so clinical. Well, it is and it isn't. You know, you got to pry those cheeks about, open. about overweight people, they always talk about things in terms of food or medicine. Have you noticed that? Oh Everything sounds God. clinical. <laughs> yeah, well... So, after that, we'll open him up. It's like, oh, open him up. And the reason is they're always either eating or undergoing some kind of gastric bypass or something. My so God. Their, their whole life. I'm glad is, for a video their show. Whole, God damn it. Their whole life uh, is either in Walmart or the emergency room. So That they, actually they, sounds way more like that piece of shit, yeah. to be honest. Walmart, the emergency room? I've never yeah. been in the emergency room. What is, what's the most embarrassing thing you've had stuck up you? Nothing. Well, well that's, a, that's about to change. <laughs> 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 okay, so we think, first of all, someone sucks him off. 
Yes. Oh, then, yeah, that's yeah, exactly what I said this then morning. Then he bangs. Then he is banged. And after he's banged, he never goes back. Do we do we have a whiteboard in here? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. What <laughs> the fuck are we right. doing right We're now? We're whiteboarding no your fucking future right now. This Jared. is that's exactly what's happening. what we said this morning. Once like, you go crack, you never go back. Yeah. Yes. And I said, we're, we're going to ask Milo about this tonight. And I go, here's exactly what I think the order should go. And it is 100% exactly he what would, he said. He would be, um, if you'll forgive the gay expression, a hungry bottom. Uh, he'd be one of those. I want to hear. It? I want to hear more about this. Yeah. He'd be one of those. He'd be a power <laughs> bottom. He'd be one of those people writhing and moving, and he'd be he like being on top because he'd like the feeling of being on top, mm-hmm. except it be in his ass. Uh, you know, like that. So if you, yeah, that. that you would did be, break a bet last week, right? Yeah. So he'd still yeah. like to feel like he's in control of the of the event, even though he's the one getting penetrated. So he would be, yeah, he'd be a, a hungry or a power bottom. Hungry bottom. Hungry like bottom that. is way better Hung- than power bottom. It's so much more demeaning. <laughs> 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 All right. And especially you, a hungry bottom. Like a hungry bottom. Well, great. I mean, then I could finish the book. The Heterosexual Male's Guide to Homosexual Oh, sorry, you were about to tell us about your book. We haven't got time this week, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, Homo come on. Yolo. No, come on. Tell us about your book. No, I wanted to, I wanted to write a Karma Sutra book for homosexuals, but from a hetero. But we standpoint. don't need the help. You do. It's true. Damn it. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> what could you possibly have to teach somebody? I mean, I created but- a move called the Big Dipper. It involves seven people. I'll draw it out for you later. Well, can, yeah. we, can we just? No, we've got four. Yeah. Um, yeah. Take seven. Of what? And then, and then, and then, what uh, kinds? What seven of what denominations? Is that Denomin- what you said? <laughs> denominations. <laughs> Three Episcopalians. Yeah, exactly. A Jew, <laughs> one of and a Southern Baptist, <laughs> and, and a Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that your favorite thing about women? I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm such a Gemini. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Sid, you fucked my dad. It's not my fault. I'm Taurus. <laughs> like, that is my, absolutely right because I'm on thing. I'm on Hinge and like a girl opened the conver- conversation. What is is that? Is it's it? a dating app, but you really are lonely. They- <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need to be on a dating app? Because you, you know, like you, you, you could easily pick up hot girls in real life. Why you? I don't da- go anywhere. I don't go out out, 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 out in public. Well, you're too, bu- you're too busy cooking for the seven people who live with you. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Ceviche. Yeah. Oh, man. Dish. Everybody's oh. got a dish. He's yeah. Ceviche's himself. not cooking. No, he's giving Ceviche himself. Ceviche is just chopping a few things up and hoping for the best. He's <laughs> giving himself food poisoning at least food. four times that I'm aware of. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and I think it's just in the five years we've been best friends, six years. I've seen you with food poisoning seven or eight times at least. Yeah, because you know, you've got a weak constitution, no? No, no, it's strong. You've I got just a, experiment. You've, you've got a jippy tummy. That's no. what you've got. Jippy <laughs> tummy. You've got a jippy I'm tummy. I'm ordering fish off the dark web, Milo. <laughs> no, <laughs> that might have more to do with it. <laughs> we got fucking hammered one night. I went to some shitty grocery store and bought fish that expired that Swordfish day. Swordfish in Salt Lake City. And tried to make. And yeah. yeah, that should be a that should be an interracial dating app, the dark web. It'd be a much better, <laughs> much better. Oh much better yeah. Name. Uh, so, so the first guy that you're with, I think it stands to reason it would probably be a Caucasian. Um, the yes. second guy who you fucks probably white, or maybe maybe Hispanic. The guy that does you first would have to then again be white, but inevitably after you get a taste for it, you're going to want to step up, and that's when I can be useful to you. <laughs> 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 oh shit! We'll, we'll exchange numbers after this. <laughs> unexpectedly enjoyable afternoon, uh, and, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll get it. You, done. We'll get the it conversations done. that you and I are going to have moving forward from here is going to be hilarious. Mm. You're like, I, I, I definitely see. He thinks we're going to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's gonna. You're going to end up being a I'm prostitute not mo- in the stable. Listen, I'm at not moving in. It's fine. I'm not moving, it's fine. Not but, hey, but know that option. If America goes to shit, you'll have a place because Jared doesn't care. He's who got a there. compound, so yeah. I mean, yeah, like it's, an actual compound. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. seven acres. It used to be a uh, rehab a rehab facility. Well, it's, it still is. Yeah. <laughs> no. it's, it's a multi-use facility. It's rehab facility. for him. Yeah. It's rehab for him. He's he's the only patient there and doesn't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Uh, Milo, you're one of our favorite people in the world. Um, well, thank you. Thank you for stopping by and doing the show. This is obviously the point where we get to the drinking bro of the week, which is someone who's inspired you or helped you to where you were. Uh, is it me? 
it, it, yes, it yeah, is thanks. actually. Yeah. Uh, no, but we actually let we'll let the guests give it away. So um, last give it to time yourself, you, yeah. Last time you gave it to somebody else, but since your entire no, family, I, I think in, I think I'll give it to myself. <laughs> I like that. Uh, if, if only you could do the same, it would solve all the problems we've been talking about. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'll be this week's drinking bro of the week for the for the great selfless uh, mission I'm about to be engaged on with you. Yeah, of, yeah. Um, of uh, busting your cherry open. <laughs> Find, finding somebody to plunge in and drop that sweet nut. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> he took Merry it Merry Christmas. He took it up to 100 feet, and then he took it up 50 feet more, just dropped your ass out the <laughs> fucking window right well, there. Well, that's, that, that's quite an advanced stage. We might wait for sort of month three or four before we try that maneuver with him, but... Um, <laughs> Normally he's, they do it off a springboard. He's good land. with heights, though, so you'll be good is with he, that. Is he, yeah. is he, is he's is not he. bad with heights. He's do high. you find your... Effluvian more or less disgusting than someone else's? No, it's just it's all. Well, it it's wasn't all really equal. a yes or no answer. It's all equal. It's all equally gross. Yes. Fine. So they have to come in you then. Oh yeah. Well, hey, what happens? I know this is going to sound like a shitty question. You shit it out. You do. Yeah. Boom. I knew you. <laughs> I knew it. What else would happen? You think yeah. it absorbs into your butthole? I didn't know if you wipe it out. Like it comes out like uh, a woman. Yeah. I, do you, I and I, 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 I say I said that like it was obvious, but I never realized that it's the same for women. They have to like yeah, it yeah. pops out of there. Yeah. yeah, it just sort of dribbles out. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that the most disgusting thing in the world? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. So with, with with it's somehow worse than the ass. Somehow it's worse than the ass. Yeah, because if you could just shit it out, it stays in you, and then you but shit it out. It's not really you're good. in your. It's just back there. You don't have to really think about it too much, you know? That's true. But, oh, oof. Yeah. Oof. The more I learn about anatomy and, well, the more I learn about everything, the more absolutely delighted I am that I was born a man. Even even this. But, you know, but, but, <laughs> but no, oh, my goodness. Okay, so my drinking bro of the week is me. Um, I love it. For my, for my selfless uh, mission of mercy. I'll find you someone. Yeah. He'll find you someone. Find you someone. I'll find you someone who needs, needs a place to stay. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely got spare room, so. I think you're disappointed it's not going to be Milo. No, I'm not. You're not? Well, who, well, who, fuck you who then. wouldn't be? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think you want a smaller person. That's, an, that's, a, that's a given. Excuse me? I think he wants a smaller person. <laughs> <laughs> Height-wise to like go to, with. Would you like to rephrase that, Missy Elliott? Oh, boy. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Video show completely jacked. I don't even need to say anything. Um, I think he wants a yet, smaller. Like yeah, you five, are anyway. Yet you feel five, the need guy. to not only defend yourself verbally, but also remove your sweater, suggesting that not only was I right that you've been taking a turn for the worse recently, but also you've noticed and feel some kind of way about it. Not at all. This started off as a joke a while ago Singer. that I did not fucking subscribe to, and then boom. So I Here we are. Do that. I'm really bad gay. I don't, <laughs> know, I, don't, I don't know how to do that. How do they do that? It's like, is that it? The gay snapping. Yeah, that does it. You're it kind of does it. It's a Z. White. Not really, right? Also, what? Being yeah. white probably has. Hang on. Oh, no. Yeah, no. you gotta. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta make a Z. You gotta make a Z out of it. What's right. the Z for, though? I mean, there it is. No, where do you? No, the, because there's only three clicks. Many. Is it those three or is it those three? Yeah, is, is it, it like, backwards? Is it like yep, here we are? Mm, but it's a backwards mm, we are. Mm, <laughs> mm, 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 no idea, but yeah, my guess is Jared starts with a 5 4 guy. Oh, mm. stop. It's a little guy. What if it's a 5 4 guy with a hog on it? from behind, because it's gonna, that's going to determine um, whether I can get you. Later. You know, whether I can get. No, no, just now when you're close. Whether I can get you an 8 <laughs> or a 4. Just let me see. <laughs> yeah, turn, just do a quick twirl. Just, there it is. A 4, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, you know, because black guys like a little extra back there, so you're okay. <laughs> oh, God. We'll have to wax you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, there's going to be a lot coming. of waxing That's going coming. on. At our, by the way, we did a live show from Army Navy. Uh, there was a guy who did a live waxing uh, next to us, and that looked really Ouch. fucking painful. Uh, they used duct tape. Oh, that's not. That's Did not. Did you notice you him that. looking especially intently at that? Yeah. 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 That's that's something you're. you're that's a road you're going to go down pretty soon. I have a feeling. All of this is going to happen. It's 2020. I'll have, have to introduce you to all the cultural ramifications of your new sexual life. You know, you'll <laughs> you'll have to learn the words to "I will survive." <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a huge improvement from Wonderwall, Jared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's Raining Men. I know that. Uh, yep. Yeah, you know that one? <clears throat> good, good. Oh, uh, the George Michael catalog, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. Careless Whisper. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the gayest That's song ever one. written, and nobody knew it until like a couple years later. Wow, some of us knew. Some people. <laughs> some, of us, some of us knew. <laughs> As a kid, I didn't. I was just like, man, he's no, badass like, with the, a beard. The least surprising news in the world, George Michael gets caught like trying to nosh off a policeman yeah, in a public toilet. Come on. Yeah. Um, we okay. didn't know over here. Can you believe it? Like you just yeah, thought he was British. No. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he gay? I just thought he was English. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's <laughs> it. We were all shocked. It was like, oh, not George Michael. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, that, yep. that, that, that fine uh, masculine icon that we all thought. Well, the Americans are so dumb about this kind of stuff. I mean, half of you thought that. Um, Half you thought Freddie Mercury was just a bit flamboyant. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And Elton John. Now it's like we are the champions. How can that guy be gay? You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> we will rock you. That can't be a fag. Yeah. <laughs> really, really swung and missed on that one. <laughs> he was very clearly gay. No, uh, yeah, he's gay. And then uh, fuck, who was the other one? Elton John. A lot of people thought that Elton John was uh, Elton John. Straight. Liberace. Yes. Yeah, Liberace. Um. Uh, 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 George Michael, Freddie Mercury, and now you. Yeah, Jared Taylor. Another in a long Jared. line of. Oh, isn't it, your name's Taylor? Yeah, Jared Taylor. You share a name with with somebody very unfortunate. Who? Taylor Swift. No, Jared Taylor. I, I don't know what Jared the, Taylor. Jared Taylor from the White uh, Supremacist. Yeah, American yeah, yeah, Renaissance. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Oh shit! Imagine I didn't know that. that was a difference. I, I stumbled upon that looking your name up on Google one time. I'm like, oh. The, the only thing that's more embarrassing than sharing a name with him is that he's much more famous than you. <laughs> 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 like if you die, people, in the, people you, are always going to think you're him, not because you share a name with him, but because he's much more successful than you. <laughs> <laughs> if you die in a plane crash, you're like, wait, the white supremacist? Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I live with this guy, Jared. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's distasteful. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing like ending the show in a white See, I, we can't be, joke. We can't be friends now because I'm. I, 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 He's gonna, married to a I, black man for I, Christ's I, sake. I have, no, because no, not that. I just I can't have you in my phone, Jared Taylor. <laughs> Jared J- Taylor just said, if he says, "Shall I do you or are you going to do me?" What do I reply? So Jared Taylor's just asked me. Mm. <laughs> like, <you> know, <laughs> Jared Taylor, which hole does it go in? Uh, no. <laughs> Jared Taylor, should I use water or silicon-based lube? Ah! Uh, <laughs> Twenty twenty, it's going down. Jared oh. Taylor, am I safe to fart yet? Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> He's using the clam-based lube. Yeah, we're using the clam-based lube. We're going there. Uh, yeah, we're definitely right. going there. Uh, Milo, thank you for being here, man. Thank you. You're it's, one of our faves. Thank you. It, it, has, it has been unexpectedly delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly because I've been talking most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> For Jared Taylor, Milo, <laughs> Danthony, Danthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. Good night, everyone. Good night.